Shalom, Israel. This is your friend and your brother, Mayael Ben Yah. And I just want to um, share my heart with you of one of my. Um, I have two um, regrets as a father. Um, and that is that I was not the best father or there for my kids as I would have um, have liked to. It was different situations with um, each one, but um, I could have done more. And um, I had real regrets about those. But at the same time, I know I cannot allow them to haunt me because I cannot change the course of events um, during my kids' childhood. I only have now and um, my desire is to make um, do something with the time I have with them. Um, and I want to come from the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 6. Starting at verse 1. And we're going to end with verse 7. We're just going to read um, 7 verses. As upon, as when I was looking at this, it hit me that. Um, this, these are the things that I should have um, done with um, my kids. Amen. So let us read. Hallelujah. Now these are the commandments and the statutes and the judgments which the Lord your God command, commanded to teach you that you might do them in the land where you go to possess it that thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy children and thy children's children, all the days of thy life, that thy days may, may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that thee may increase mightily, as the Lord thy God of thy fathers had promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest. Hallelujah. So, this here is something that I did not do a great job of. Um, I trusted this, um, that was my duty. I gave over into the hands of pastors or ministers or rabbis to do. I did not fulfill this commandment because... Yah makes it perfectly clear that it was the job of the fathers to minister to his household and to teach his kids the will of God. What is it that God requires of us as his people? And I did not do that. I taught my kids, the ones that I had with me when they was young, um, to to dress for um, Sunday service, um, be respectable, um, speak when spoken to, and make sure you have an offering to give God now. And be good in Sunday school. And I'm ashamed. That's, it. That's about pretty much the extent of it. I prayed with them occasionally. I trust the mothers to do that. You know, the mothers prayed with them. I prayed with them sometime, but, you know, that's just where I was in my journey. I, I trust to let pastors do something that I was supposed to do. If I could go back in time and have all my kids around me, I will open up the scriptures to them. And just give them the simple 
instructions of God's word and what it is that he requires of us as a people. No hooting and hollering. It ain't going to be no mini Sunday service. It ain't going to be no mini um, Tuesday night um, Bible study. We're going to sit down as a family and I'm going to direct them into the things of God and um, make it understandable to them so they, they can apply it themselves. Make, that, make this great God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob real to them. He's not some fantasy. He's not some mystery. That which he, he gave us to know of him is ours. It's our inheritance and we're supposed to give it over into our kids, to our children. And I did not do that. And that is one of one of my um, biggest regrets um, concerning my kids. I love my kids a lot. They are my heart. I have five of them and they are the arrows in my quiver. But I did not do this with them. And there's no telling how their lives would have been if I could have fulfilled this. If I would have trained them up in this, raised them up in this to understand that God is real. The God of the Bible is real. Not this fantasy God or this genie God. But there's a real God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you could have a relationship with him. You could pray to him. You could commune with him. And not, oh, he's going to grant you everything you want. Because that's not true. He does not grant us everything that we want. And if I could have done this with them, I could have walked them through the Bible and see. Sometimes we ask for things, God give it. Sometimes God does not allow it. It still not take away the, from the fact that he is God. And it still does not take away from the fact that we should pray unto our creator. And when we're feeling bad, we could lean upon him. We could go into his word and... And get encouragement from his word. Find peace in his word. But I took the um, the easy road out. I thought I was doing the right thing. But now looking back now. I was far from doing that which was acquired of me. I am responsible for teaching my kids the truth. And pointing them in the right direction. And then if we fellowship somewhere. And it was not lining up with which. Um, what was being established in the home it was my responsibility to protect my kids and get them out of there to get my, my household out of a place where false doctrine is being taught that's my responsibility as a husband and as a father and I didn't always do that I failed miserably at that so now there is no time machine. I cannot go back in time. All I can do now is with the time I have. Is talk to my kids about the things of God in a real way. Not no fantasies, not no mysteries, not no craziness, not no screaming, not no hooting or hollering. Just talking to them about God. And what he acquires, what he requires from us as a people, as a, his covenant people. And it's not, oh, it's so hard, it can't be done. It can be done. God gave righteous instructions that can be carried out by his people. And if I would have done that at an early age with my kids, it's no telling where they would be. I, I'm... I'm I love all my kids. I'm proud of my kids. But there's no telling, you know, I don't know where they may be right now if I taught them these things. Now, that's not to say they would have um, maintained it or choose to continue walking in it. But I was responsible for sharing these truths with my kids. And I didn't do it. But as I said, I don't beat myself up over it because I can't change it. 
But I just want to share that. And for you fathers that have your kids, they're young kids, and they're in your home, or you have some kind of access to them, teach them the Torah. Teach them the word of God. Teach them about this great king that reigns in the heaven above and rule the earth. Teach them about this great king. And, you know, you never know. You never know what doors you may open for your kids when you introduce them to the one true living God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Holy One of Israel. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share. Get that off my chest, so to speak. But anyway, to my kids, if you get a chance to watch this or whatever, I love y'all. My heart and my prayers are with y'all and toward y'all. I love y'all. Be blessed. Shalom.